white boxes are beehives. Those are honeybee hives. And it's really important that I have honeybees on our farm because without the honeybees, I'm not going to get a lot of produce. I'm not going to get many pumpkins or strawberries or squash or cucumbers. So you can see the bees are right at the bottom of the white boxes over there, those beehives. When the weather's nice and today's a nice day, the, the worker bees will fly out and they look for flowers. And when they get to a flower, they go right to the center and they sip nectar. And nectar is like a sweet droplet of sugar water. It's almost like soda pop. They really like it. So they go, hmm, I want to go get more. So they go from flower to flower sipping nectar. And as they do that, they also get a yellow dust called pollen all over their le legs and their body. And when they visit the different flowers, they move that flower from flower to flower. And that's called pollination. And that's how a strawberry flower will turn into a strawberry, a pumpkin flower will turn into a pumpkin by the, the honeybees moving that pollen. Um, inside each one of those boxes, there's about 50,000 honeybees. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. And how many queen bees are in each box? One queen bee. And a king bee. Nope, no king bees, only a queen bee. Um, the queen bee's job is to lay eggs, and she'll lay about a thousand eggs a day every day of her life. And a queen bee may live about three years, whereas the worker bees only live about six weeks because the worker bees are flying out, getting nectar, getting pollen, and flying back to the hive all day, every day. And so they basically work themselves to death. So that's why it's important that the queen is continually laying eggs so that there's more bees to, to replenish the bees that die. In uh, the summer, late summer, my beekeeper comes. He's got a white suit on, a helmet with a veil. He opens the top of that box up and he has his machine that pours smoke in on the bees. And the smoke makes the bees kind of groggy, kind of tired. And it's like right before you guys want to take a nap, the bees get kind of sleepy so he can take the honey out without getting stung. And we get about anywhere from 25 to 75 pounds of honey in each of those hives every year. And the beekeeper takes the honey, puts it in a machine to separate it from the honeycomb, and then we bottle it and we sell it up in our store. If you have allergies and you eat local honey, it's a great way to build up your immune system so that you're not as allergic to the pollens that are out there. Um, honey will never spoil if you have it for a really long time and it starts to crystallize and get kind of uh, clumpy on you, you think it's not any good. If you put that jar in some warm water, it comes back into solution and it's perfectly good to eat. It, it never spoils. It's a really good kind of honey. It's a really good kind of sugar to eat for you. I um, want to point out that we don't take all the honey out of that hive because if we did, we would uh, starve the bees together. Just real quick, there goes a great blue heron. A big bird is going to go flying around into the pond. See how big that is? And he fishes, he, he looks for fish and snakes and frogs, and he's about three and a half feet tall, and he'll just stay along the water out there. So that's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, we don't take all the honey out, because if we took all the honey out, you guys, those bees would die in the winter time. So we only take about two thirds of the honey that they produce, and then we leave them a third, because that's like their peanut butter and jelly sandwich, that's their Pringles, that's their Tasty Cake. That's what they eat. That's their food that they have to have in the wintertime because in the wintertime there are no flowers for them to go get pollen and nectar out of. <laughs> um, this puppet is more like a bumblebee puppet. See, it's yellow and black and its head got kind of chewed up by my dog. Um, but this puppet's a bumblebee. It's not a honeybee. Honeybees are kind of orange and black. And um, so if you guys go to Limbilla Orchards and you get apples there, the, the bees that are bothering you there those aren't honeybees, those are yellow jackets. And I've noticed a few of them flying around. When you guys are having your picnic lunch up there, there'll probably be yellow jackets visiting you. Won't be honeybees. Honeybees could care less about apples and cider and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They're looking for flowers. So anytime you see a bee around apples and that kind of thing, um, it's more likely a yellow jacket. Uh, any questions about bees?